What's up guys, Marcy here, and welcome back to the Fania Cloud Novel. We're gonna come back to this today, do a completely different route as last time we finished it up with the Purple Girl, got the Purple Girl ending and whatnot. So we're gonna do something completely different. If you guys didn't see those episodes, definitely go check them out. There'll be links in the description down below. We're gonna just go for the brunette. I mean, why not? The next one down, sure thing. See what that's about here. You tap the shoulder of the brunette. She turned around. She was wearing a standard yet attractive uniform with a clipboard in her hand. Her eyes were cold towards you. She was right next to a blonde woman wearing a very similar uniform. So these are bad guys. Oh yeah, we are seeing the return of these two fine security babes. What do you want? I'm here for the night guard job. Great, another pervert signing up. Name? Jason. <laughs> Don't just assume I'm a pervert, dang it. The blonde girl responded. That's a nice name. Oh, so we got the nice one there and then the flipping rude girl for some reason. Why are you so stuck up, girl? Relax. <laughs> the brunette murmurs in disagreement. So I suppose you want us to tell you our names. Yeah, that would be helpful. My name is Mary Smith and this kind woman here is Jane Fritzgard. Don't hit on us or I will punch you. Sendary confirmed, guys. Sendary confirmed. Oh, uh, okay. Can you show me the ropes? I'll do it. Oh, we got the nice one there again. No, Jane. You might be a pervert. I'll do it instead. <laughs> Dang it. Should have tapped on the blonde girl's shoulder instead. I know I'm stuck with the stupid Sendari brunette. <laughs> this is the show stage. These are the main three characters. I'm guessing they're the main reason you joined. She shrugged. This is the dining area. Do I need to explain? Man, this is so different compared to Purple Girl. She was so nice. And this stuck up cow is just, well, a flipping cow. <laughs> This is Pirate Cove. Foxy lives here. She's a fan favorite. Oh, well, I I can agree. She's pretty dang fan. <laughs> this is Mango Cove, the sixth, the sister of Foxy. Mango lives here, but both of the sisters were put out of order due to perverts like you <laughs> going on stage and getting a closer look. Stop blaming me, dang it. I haven't done anything. <laughs> this is the closet. These darn animatronics are old suits that were used in the 83 joint. They're really annoying. You give her a confused glance. Oh, it's nothing. This is the repair room. These boxes hold two important animatronics. Luckily, they aren't like the others. Well, not exactly. The sister location ones. I really want to see the sister location stuff. I, I don't know. I'm guessing that's what it was. Because that's what Purple Girl said in the first episode. Spoilers if you randomly didn't check out the first episode, guys, all right? But she, she mentioned that they were from the sister location, so... To me, that basically means it's the sister location animatronics. What the flip else could it be? All right, we're just going to continue here. Other than the two halls, nothing else you need to know. Just don't forget it, okay? All right. How did it go? Not bad, but I'm still convinced that he's a pervert. Are you sure? He seems okay. Any person who is into women that signs up here is a pervert. She's so rude. She can't just name tag me like this. Leave me alone, dang it. What is this for? It's a position to ban romantic and sexual actions during the day. I can understand banning sexual actions, but why romantic ones? It's just annoying to see people being lovey-dovey to each other. Jane continued to give her that weird look. Right, you're annoyed. They start calmly arguing. This goes on for five minutes. One of the bosses notices and walks over to them. What are you two doing? You're supposed to be watching the restaurant. You're working a week of unpaid overtime for this. Boss, this was my fault. Fine, then you will take the punishment. She oh, it's a girl. <laughs> I thought the boss is a male for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> he didn't say if it was male or female, you know? I took a 50-50 chance. Dang it. Uh, I guess I have to work with you. Oh, I forgot. Here's the sign-up papers. She hands you the papers, then you sign them. Get some rest. I'll see you in a few hours. All right, so we've got the brunette girl with us now. Okay, that's kind of interesting, I guess. Maybe we'll eventually get with her. Like, she'll stop being a stuck-up Sendere and actually, you know, start feeling the love. <laughs> I don't know. Later, you and Mary arrive in the office. <laughs> you sit in the chair. What? Am I going to sit on your lap? Let me sit in the chair. You get up and she sits in. She sighs. I haven't been in here for a long time. I know everyone's strategies. Strategies? You then hear a voice on the phone. Hello? Hello? Hey, congrats. Okay, I think this is probably the same. Yeah, this is the same as uh, when we did this with the Purple Girl in the last episode. So we're, we're going to skip this bit. There we go. What? You didn't warn me? It's kind of similar to the Purple Girl route we've done. Sorry, we're not allowed to mention it to non-employees. Now, I want you to close the door whenever I say so. But... Do it or I'll make it so you can never repopulate. 
What? She's so cruel. So the shift's almost done. Hey, can you sign the petition? I might give you something nice. Fine, you sign it. You're the second signature. <laughs> Not many people will agree to this petition here, guys, especially in this place. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel kind of sorry for her very slightly. Now, what do men like? You don't know what men like? Well, mm, I suppose this works. She gives you a kiss on the cheek. Ooh! Alright! Yeah, we do. We do like it, alright? It's just a lot. It's exactly, man. Alright! Good. You hear a sound. The 6 a.m. bell was ringing. Now get out of here before anyone else gets suspicious. The next day. <laughs> hey, Mary, so I assume we're doing the same thing as last night. Actually, no, we're doing something different tonight. Follow me. She led you to the repair room. All right. What are we doing here? Well, I found out what boys like. Plus, I know you're a pervert. So, she walks up to the two crates. Guys, he's ready. Excuse me. What? Well, I didn't expect this. I actually, um, kind of expected her to, um... Yeah, I'm not going to go into the detail, guys, but I thought she might have done something. <laughs> That's okay. So she's got the puppet in balloon babe here. What the balls? Two animatronics exit out of the boxes. One had pale skin with makeup and a, and a skin-tight black suit with white panties. The other one looked exactly like a human woman with a skimpy shirt and skirt. She had a propeller and a cute and cute buck teeth. Oh, <laughs> so cutesy. Hello, cutie. You're a lot more handsome than I thought. My name's the puppet. Or the marionette, if you prefer. My name's Balloon Babe, or BB for short. Now, she started walking towards you. Let's get those pants off of her. Oh, flip. No. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just hold on. <laughs> hold your horses. <laughs> wait, wait. Mary, what's going on? I thought Parvis like large-breasted women making out with them. Yeah, well, yeah, but the phone guy said they could accidentally kill me. <laughs> accidentally? Well, just be careful, but seriously, take off your pants or I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, can I have them first? I don't even know what a... thing. You don't? She sighs. Fine. I guess I can't get out of this. Oh, he just... So, so he just goes with it. He's just like, I can't do anything about it. I can't push my way out. I can't yell my way out. I'll just submit to these animatronics. <laughs> sure thing. Hey, you're cheating us out. She pulls you down your only piece of clothing, fully revealing yourself to the three women. So that's what it looks like. Interesting. It looks gross. Well, we know you feel about that, but for us, we won't judge. Now, will I? Uh, BB. I don't know how this works. <laughs> oh, okay. She starts kissing you. All right. What should you do? I don't know. Get a little bit interesting, join in. <laughs> I'm joining, I guess. After a short little makeout session, BB gets the puppet off of you. Now, my turn. She takes off her clothes. Uh, thank thanks, ma'am. I'm really glad that you uh, put that there for me. I'm I really appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> she takes off her clothes and jumps off on you. Uh, she was only inches away from this being a censored scene. More censored. Are you ready? <laughs> Hey, BB, aren't, so, aren't some unprotected wires there? So? Couldn't that kill him? Really? Well, it, it probably won't. What do you want to do? Uh, d flip. Uh, d st well, it could kill us. Stop her, dang it. Actually, I don't think I should. You get up. Hey, I was promised that I would get to have you for the rest of the night. You're not leaving until I get what I want. Oh, jeez. BB started walking angrily towards you, but then Mary blocks her. All right, thanks, Mary. Thank you so much. Listen, BB, he doesn't want to risk his life. You're really nice, but you're acting selfish, even if it's a bit justified. But if you really want someone, she unbuttoned her shirt, revealing her dark brown bra, not unlike her eyes. What? She's probably into women, I guess. <laughs> then take me. Well, I'm not picky. Get okay, they're all into women. Or they're all bi, I guess. <laughs> what the flip? Censored. Uh, that was nice. Are you experienced? No matter. I swear that was almost as good as if it was with a man. Well, I'm satisfied. Bye. She climbs back into the crate. All right. Bye, balloon babe. See you later. <laughs> See ya. As she dresses, you walk up to her. You probably have a lot of things to say, don't you? Well, yeah. First, you're very attractive. 
Second, I might need to mind bleach. Third, where did you learn to do that? First, pervert. Second, you're not forgetting that. Third, internet. Now let's get back to the office. If you mention this to anybody, I will really make it so you can't repopulate. All right, girl, that's fine. I won't tell anyone, I promise, all right? <laughs> when you arrive back in the office, you hear a familiar sound. Ding dong, the 6 a.m. bell was ringing. Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow. She waves without saying bye. <laughs> what? She's so horrible. Hey, are you ready to work tonight? Actually, I have to work in the repair room tonight to fix some stuff. I have to help too. Oh, well, maybe I can help? No, no, you have to watch the animatronics. Mm, well, okay. See you guys later. As the clock starts to hit 12, the girls walk towards the repair room. You go back to the office. So I'm alone? It's just me this time? But I'm gonna die! Guys, help me! <laughs> I'm gonna flip and die! That's weird. None of the animatronics seem to be trying to get me. You check the cameras and see what the animatronics were, were crowding around the entrance to the repair room. When you check the repair room camera, it appeared to be empty, and yet you heard strange stream of sounds. The picture starts fluttering, and then realize that they take the picture, and you decide to see what's going on. Oh boy! Hello! You walk slowly towards the door, and one of them noticed you. Oh! Hello, night guard. So you're finally here to join us? Well, we can greet you right now. Someone is in here, and I've seen enough anime to know what it is. Uh, can I enter? I would let you in, but it's locked. Uh, I do have a key. I'll enter, but don't follow me. I want to be stealthy. You quietly enter the room, and you can't believe your eyes. Holy flip! What? So much sensory in this game. What the balls? Mary and Jane. Oh my. Okay. Mary and Jane were, yep. Mary was wearing a dark brown, uh, similar to her eyes. And Jane was wearing blue again, similar to her eyes. Before you can stop yourself, you shout. What the heck? What is going on? <laughs> what the heck? They, they turn to you with horror on their faces. Mary gets up and starts stomping towards you. I told you not to spy on us. She rolls up to punch you, but Jane stops her. Mary, come on. Jane seemed to be nervous. You were, you were just about to take off your top, so let's get back to that. <laughs> Even though I interrupted their situation, she's completely fine with continuing it. Okay, well, what the flip would Mary say about this? Nice, Jane, but he spied on us. It's not my fault. The animatronics were crowding around the door. The sounds and the camera being covered by a photo. It was really suspicious. He has a point. Fine, but you need to leave and forget what you saw. That might be a bad idea. Ah, Jane hides between you two. Go away! Calm down, you may be attractive, but I won't get with you without your consent. I only do it without consent on rare occasions. But anyway, the Ambertogs will not stop at a chance to get both a male and two attractive women. Plus, they can hear us right now. There's only one way to avoid them. She whispers. Pretend that it's a hero makeout session. What? I'm not doing that with him. Would you prefer to kiss Freddy and possibly die from it? I'm trying to help you. Now that I gave you the idea, I want something in return. What do you want? Well, I want to kiss you. She points to Jane. Okay, not me then. It's not the male. She wants some of the female action. <laughs> it's just... No. Mary embraces Jane. She's my wife. I mean, girlfriend. Okay, she's they're, they're married? What? I, I guess I'll try. She nervously walks up to her. The puppet gives a quick kiss on the lips. Jane looked horrified. Just follow the plan. I'll teleport your clothes to the office. All right, I'll see you three later. Bye. She enters her box. All right. <laughs> you walk out while making out of the two and manage to get back to the office. Just as the puppet said, the clothes were there. They dress and turn to you. Sorry about keeping it a secret in front of you. It's just a little bit awkward. Hey, um, we were planning on continuing this at my house later. Um, you can come by if you want to. Sounds good. You hear the familiar sound of the bell. I'll see you guys later. Congratulations, you got the Night Guard Hiram ending. Woohoo! Oh boy! We're part of a Hiram. Oh yes. Alright guys, so I guess that's another one of the endings. So I'm gonna leave it here for today. I actually think that was probably one of the most intense ones yet. <laughs> There was just so much going on in terms of you know what. But anyway, I still enjoyed it. It's all just silly fun here. So if you guys are enjoying this, then definitely tell me in the comment section down below. And definitely hit that like button. If you want me to continue, there's a few more routes we can do with this. So definitely, again, tell me in the comment section down below if you want me to continue this. But as always, guys, so appreciate that you even watched today. And I'll see you in the next one.